In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Docket mobile app. When you open the mobile app, you will see the schedule view first. This is going to show a list of all your tasks and jobs for the day. You'll see across the top a way to go from day to day. So right now we're viewing Tuesday, April 26th. We can click on Wednesday, see our schedule for Wednesday, etc. Um, you can click the actual April button to pick a day if it's not something you want to go one after the next after the next to find. We also have a settings section up here in the top right. Here's where you can upload your image or you can have someone in the office do that for you as well. You can view your settings where you can assign vehicles. If you have a vehicles assigned to your account, uh, choose the map provider that you prefer to use. And then we have some settings for background GPS, battery optimization, and then some permission links back to the app installed on your device. Um, down on the bottom, you're going to again see four different options, possibly less depending on the permissions that are set up for your account. But schedule, like we talked about the as the default view you see, uh, timesheet. So this gives you the ability to clock in and clock out uh, for your company. We're going to track your hours. And depending on your company's settings, we may be tracking the location for each clock in and clock out as well. The third tab here is clients. Uh, again, if you have the appropriate permissions, you will have this, uh, this tab where you'll be able to, by default, see the clients that are associated to the jobs you have today, uh, and then given the ability to search other clients from the uh, account database. And from there, you can uh, invoice, view their account balances, uh, et cetera. The fourth tab over here is for our assets management. So these are kind of auxiliary options here for you. Um, not common in the workflow, but if you need to use them, come over here and do it. Um, you could do a one-off yard drop. You can just manually track where an asset is located. Uh, you can also mark an asset as damaged. Uh, you also can create a task and go. So this is commonly used if uh, you are a single operator um, and someone calls and I need to take this dumpster or this asset and go. Uh, open task is a option for your drivers to view any open tasks. So unassigned, unscheduled tasks and then assign them to themselves. Uh, map, of course, is how you view a map of all your assets and then Yard counts is just, just that. Now, if you have certain permissions, you'll see also this uh, floating action button that you can click. Here, it's gonna show you other options that you can do uh, as a user of the Docket mobile app. You can add an estimate, add an invoice, add a job, add a client, and add an expense. And when you add these, they all sync instantly back up to the Docket uh, software on the website. So let's show you how to uh, complete a task. So on the schedule, cage, schedule page, you'll see uh, we have open tasks and completed tasks. So for today, I have not completed a single task yet. Uh, we can scroll down and see I have a pickup, then I have to go back to the main yard, then a 10 yard drop off, and then a one yard pickup. These are ordered by the way your dispatcher has assigned them to you. So you are not able to click and go out of order unless they've turned this setting off. So um, if you receive that message, that just means, hey, the dispatcher would like you to do the top item first. So that's what we'll do. So when you see the top item, you can see some uh, some summary data about it. Uh, typically, you're just going to click the on your way button right here. Or if you open up the task, you'll also see that on your way button here. 
But as you open up this screen, you'll also see those summary details again. You'll also see buttons for call, text, and navigate. Um, but typically, again, you're going to hit your on your way button and go. So that's what we'll do. We'll say on our way. I have a setting turned on on the account that says, hey, this rental's unpaid. Are you sure you want to go uh, do this pickup? I'm just going to say yes. Uh, what happened right there was the customer and the dispatcher have been notified that you are on your way to do this five yard pickup. Uh, typically, what you're going to do next is just hit the navigate button. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's going to open up your default mapping tool that you've selected in your settings and show you the route and let you hit start. Now, if I go, once I arrive on site, um, we're going to simply just follow typically the uh, button action down in the bottom right. So uh, once I arrive on site, I'm going to hit pickup. Again, it's going to tell me it's unpaid. This is a setting that you can turn off. Here we've got the pin entering screen. So uh, if you do not have QR codes with us, you're going to just type in that number that you see on the dumpster and hit pickup. If you do have a QR code, uh, you saw the QR code scanning option. So that's the time at which you would click that and then just scan the QR code. So now that I've marked this, uh, this dumpster is picked up. I have a dump assigned to it. Uh, I'm going to say yes. Let's get directions to that dump. Again, we're going to show you turn by turn directions to get to that dump as well. Um, hit start and go. And at this time, we've also uh, let, let the dispatcher and the customer know again that the dumpster is picked up. And uh, we let the dispatcher know that you are on your way uh, to your dump location. Once we arrive at the dump, we've got a couple items that my account has set up. It could be different for yours, but we have a, a net weight requirement. So we're going to open up this weight ticket. It's red because we have some requirements that aren't met yet. Uh, so typically in a weight ticket, you're going to put in the dump location, which we've got in there for you because we know where you went. Uh, the ticket number, you can put that in there. Uh, again, this is our requirement here for net weight. So let's just put a number in. We'll say 3.9 tons. Um, you can also upload ticket images. You can put the dump expenses and tell us what waste material was in the dumpster. Some of these options may be visible to you, others not. It really depends on your account settings. But we'll go ahead and hit save. And now you see that uh, that red requirement is gone and we can just say dump complete. Now we do have more options if you need them. Uh, so you can come back to the weight ticket. You can add additional charges. Um, you can select uh, different places you're going. Uh, but typically, again, we're trying to uh, direct you in the bottom right hand horn corner with what you typically are doing next. So we'll hit dump complete. Uh, if we're doing a yard drop, we can execute that yard drop, or we can just go back and, and we are going to execute a yard drop in our next task. So we would just click on this main yard task and start the next task. But now you can see we've got three open tasks and one completed. So we can come back here and see we did complete this pickup. If we need to make any changes, we can do that at this time as well. Um, but uh, now we would just continue going down the list of tasking for your schedule. And uh, if you receive any more uh, tasking or jobs throughout the day, they will just pop into the schedule automatically. Um, and if you have any questions, just let us know.